Okay. We can do it on the outside. All right. Morning, everybody. Thank you, guys, that have tuned in this morning to watch us. Uh, we're at this year's very last development seminar. So you've made it to the last one. There's got to be some, some sort of prize for that. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's one of the last Saturdays of the year, and it's the last development seminar. From this point forward, you're on your own, except for, obviously, the online tools. Those of you who have been online, and I encourage all of you to do it at some stage, will see all of our development seminars on our training section of the website. How do you find that? You go to the channel, you find development, and under there is all of our videos. So over the next sort of six or eight weeks before our next development seminar, guys, please use those tools. When you add new wealth engineers to your channels, sit them down in front of those training videos and get them to watch them. There are seven in the basic series of training. So there should be seven videos that all new wealth engineers watch, okay? Once you've watched all seven of them, of course, you then understand everything about Dewpoint and about building channels from a basics perspective. From next year, we're gonna start doing the intermediate series, um, which will also then go online, et cetera, et cetera, for those that are rank four and above. So guys, the, the, the stuff is available. The wonder and beauty of Dewpoint is that everything is available to you 24 seven. Okay, and so that's quite exciting. You should be excited about that. It's how we're going to go into the 21st century with DuPoint. So this morning, our last development seminar is on activating duplication. It's arguably the most important training session there is because without duplication, none of us can aspire to the dreams that we want. None of us will ever achieve what is in the XP Rewards program, et cetera, et cetera, without the assistance of the rest of our channel. Remember, in all the introduction presentations, Rob and I always are saying, what we want is a business that grows and creates revenue for us while we're sleeping. That's what we want. Now, what we mean by that, actually, is that when we're not working, we still want it to be growing and we still want the income to come in. Now, beautifully enough, the debit order system means that the computers run the payments every month, so even I don't have to think about that. The debit orders just automatically go off. But the actual growth of the channel, that's required, and that's only possible through the assistance of those that are in our channel, okay? We need the people in our channel to be growing our channel for us and that we call duplication. It's that power of leverage we always talk about. When you get to leverage the time and skills and, and um, talents of other people, that's what we want to activate today, and we want that alive in our channel. So I'm gonna run through that with you today, and hopefully by the end, you're feeling a bit more equipped about how to get out there and get it going in your teams. I know it's one of the big bugbears. I speak to a lot of the guys who are pushing really hard and they say, why are people not seeing this thing? Why are they not seeing the vision? Why have they not, they've been here, they got all excited, they signed up and now they're not doing anything with it. Well, why, okay? And well, folks, it's very simple. It's because there's only a handful of people that succeed in life, always. That's just, the, that's just the general rule. It's like gravity. You can't change it. There is only a certain percent of people that are going to succeed in life. But what we want to do in our channels is get as many of those people as possible active in our channel. You're never going to get them all. Once you get rid of the frustration of knowing that only a certain percentage of people are going to do it, you don't get frustrated then when people stop doing it. You kind of just move on. You put them aside and you move on to the next lot. You put them aside and, move, and every now and then you come across one of the people who are going to be successes in this life. And you work with them and they create success for you. So try and stay away from the emotion of, oh, I can't get people to catch the vision. You, you won't. You're probably going to get 20% of the people, maybe 30% of the people to catch the vision. The other 70% will take products and pay for their products. And that's all they'll do for you. Now that's okay, because remember, you get 55 Rand every month on your first and second points for somebody who has a product. So it's okay if they don't grow. You're still earning. But what we want to do this morning is we want to try and get our 20 or 30% to grow for us so that we can increase our revenue. The rest, the rest will always just be product owners. What are we going to do? Okay. Some people have it in life and some people don't. You're all sitting here this morning because you have it. That's it. We know that. I always say we've probably now got over 5,000 or 6,000 people in Dewpoint at this point in time. We've done it in nine months, okay, which is awesome. We're very excited about it. But look how few of you are here this morning. There's 50 or 60 of you here this morning. You're the only 50 or 60 who are going to succeed. The others, the others are sleeping right now or shopping or something. You know, they're doing the exact opposite of creating wealth for themselves. Now, that's just the general rule. It doesn't just apply to Dewpoint, it applies to everyone else. And so I don't get frustrated by it. I know I only need a handful of you 
10, 20, 30, and we will take the whole country over. We will, because that's how many it will take to succeed in this life. When you think about who are the names that keep coming up in the newspaper? Who are the ones we're all jealous of? Okay, we're always jealous of the rich, rich people. Okay, and that's why they're in the paper. It's why Julius Malema uses them in his talks. Hey, it's those guys. They're the guys that are taking all our money. It's just natural for us. We're a little bit jealous. But you know, there's only like five or six names. Are well, they not? There's only five or six names that you see in the newspaper, the super wealthy people. Those were the guys that committed not only their lives, but generations of lives to become wealthy. That's, how, that's what the general rule in life is. There's only a handful of us that are going to pay the price, commit the time, put the energy in to succeed. And this morning, you're that room. You're that room of people that are going to do it. So when you struggle with people, as a, just a basic starting point this morning, and you struggle with people to catch the vision, it's nothing unusual. It's completely normal. It's completely normal. You spend some time with them. If they don't get it, you move on. You move on. This morning, we're going to look at seeing how we can get 20 or 30% of the people you put in to really catch fire and start building. The other 70%, they're going to pay their products and make revenue for you. That's all they're going to do. Okay. All right. So that helps us just as a basic starting point this morning. Folks, the power of duplication. Well, it's absolutely awesome. Like I said to you, we want it because we want it to grow our channels. But there's so much more in the duplication of our channels. In empowering our channel to duplicate, we create for ourselves a team. And this is awesome because teams have a fantastic way of doing all sorts of things. They motivate us. They drive us. They share in our successes. They hold us up when we're failing. That is something you don't get in life. When you're working at the office, do you have a team that holds you up when you're failing? Is there one that like sort of shares in your success? It's all numero uno at work, boy. It's all about you. If you're failing, boy, you're the only one failing. If you're succeeding, you're the only one succeeding. You don't bring your team with you. But with Dewpoint and with channel building, activation of our duplication creates a team that brings all the positive things to us. Uh, Rob actually says it's the human condition. It actually speaks to the human condition, channel building, which means that what do we want in this life? We want fellowship. We want community. We want support. These are the things we get from our families. Usually we have to run back to them. Well, what we do in ch building channels is we offer a far wider and more capable support network like that in the construction of our channels. Each one of you is going to create a channel that is going to create lifetime friends. Lifetime friends. Friends that you would never have made outside something like this. That can motivate, uh, motivate you and pick you up when you fail. And of course, when you know you're not the only one building, when you've got guys to your left and to your right, all pushing, all going through the same thing as you as you build your channel, it creates endurance. Now, endurance is your ability to keep going year after year after year. When you've got guys pushing, you can think about the cyclists, the runners, the rowers. The, when they're in a team, they drive each other forward. They're driving, driving each other forward. When you're by yourself, you have to be completely self-motivating. Completely self-motivating. But with us, with the channel, you've got all these people with you who drive you forward year after year after year until it's a pleasure to work with them, until you love what you're doing. That you can't get when you're trying to succeed just by yourself. It's just the burden is so much greater, and we love that. And that's why we, we put this wonderful picture up here of all of these guys in one canoe, and the one lady sitting over here calling them. The one lady sitting over here, that's you. And you've got this whole team driving your boat forward behind you, and you're the one driving them from the front. Absolutely awesome. And of course, what it ultimately creates for you is time, mental, and, and financial freedom. That's what it does. You can't create that by yourself. It's very difficult for an individual to create his own time, mental, and financial freedom. Now, when I say that to you, what time freedom means is, in time, you will have replaced your primary income with Dewpoint. If you do this properly, if you do it properly, you'll replace your income. In fact, my dream is that you create 10 times your primary income at the moment. When you don't have a job, but you're working on building a channel here, you don't have set hours every day, do you? You know what I mean? When you come here, well, we do a presentation at 6.30. The rest of the day, you can do what you like. You can be building your channel. You can be doing your own administration at home. You could be out shopping. You can be sleeping. You can do whatever you want when you don't have to go to work anymore. 
because you know your channel is producing enough income to replace your income. You certainly don't have to sit in the traffic anymore. It doesn't matter where you live. You can always leave at the best time of the day so that there's no traffic. You're given complete time freedom. When you need to do something, you've got the time to do it. These days, you know how difficult it is. If somebody gets sick or if your kid gets hurt at school or something, it's an issue because you're at work and you've got to try and get yourself out of work to get there. Am I right? Well, now with this, ultimately, you build through the power of others the freedom to not have a job anymore, to not need to be tied down to a structure of time. Financial freedom is self-explanatory. As you create more income with your channel, you don't have to start worrying about your finances anymore. That's all we ever do is worry about our finances, isn't it? It is the one thing that's on our head. Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to worry about it anymore? And you know that we can get there. You can. There are people in the world who are not worried about their money. There are. We can get there as well. And that can only be produced with a team effort. You could never get the numbers in your channel that you need if it's just you trying to get those numbers in. Okay? And then, of course, the third thing is then mental freedom. Mental freedom is where we no longer worry about the unknown. We spend our lives worried about the unknown. Will I still have a job next month? Will the, will the politics in our country come right? Will the economics globally come right? Will the RAND strengthen? Will I be healthy? What, I'm sick, will I get better? All of that changes when you've got time and money. When you've got time, some people used to say to me, I used to drive my sales team back at uh, Primary and Direct, and then some of them would come to me and say, well, oh, money's not everything in life. Sure, but it's not, but it's about 99%. It's about 99%. So you should be putting about 99% of your effort into creating money. It's amazing how many problems you can solve with money. You know, they always say you just throw, throw. we always say, but it's like a jealous statement. He always just throws money at the problem. Yes, because when he throws the money at the problem, the problem goes away. So when you've got money to throw at the problem, you'll find that all your problems go away because that's what it does. And that's what we're creating. And it is only created through duplication. It's only created through duplication. And of course, always, 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 in our wealth point, pro uh, not a wealth point program, in our XP rewards program, our training program, the one with the 20 steps. Have you guys worked through the 20 steps online? Step number 19 is the ultimate prize of duplication. And so it should be the ultimate view of your channel building from day one. What does it say? It says get 10 of your first pointers to rank nine. What happens at rank nine? <coughs> Do we remember what happens at rank nine? You go to Mauritius Less next year. You go away on holiday every single year for the rest of your life. Now, think about what that looks like for you. You need a thousand paid products in your qualified channel to be rank nine, okay? Now, if you've got 10 people on your first point who have 1,000 paid <coughs> products each, how many paid products are there in your channel? As a minimum, 10,000. 10,000. Do you know how much you are earning every day or every month? I can probably say every day. At that point, it's worth calculating by day, okay? <laughs> With 10,000 people in front. It is probably about two, I'm guessing, about 250,000 rand a month, maybe 300,000 rand a month that you're earning. You now have what's called financial freedom. I know some of the ladies in this room are willing to take the challenge of spending 300,000 Rand a month. You're willing to take challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Okay, I know that. But I still think it would be quite a hard task to spend 300,000 Rand a month. Okay? It's freedom. It's freedom you've now got. We give you 500,000 XP the day you get there, but that's just nothing. It's just minor. It's just a cherry on the cake. You know what it also means? It means that when you are on holiday with Dewpoint, 10 of your team members are on holiday with you. That's the team reveling in the success together. That's what creates lifetime mental freedom. I mean, there's 10 of you that have built it together, lifetime friends. That's what we're talking about this morning. It is the ultimate goal of Dewpoint. It's the ultimate goal. That's where we want to go to in the end. So, folks, we're going to break this up into a few sections. First of all, we're going to talk about the impact of quality on duplication. How does quality affect duplication? We're then going to talk about the power of face-to-face -face interaction and how that affects duplication. 
We're then going to talk about the effect of example and how that affects duplication. Your example, how does your example affect duplication in your channel? Then we're gonna talk about a message spoken a thousand times. How do we get duplication alive and how do we keep it alive? Those are basically your four steps to achieving proper duplication um, in your channel. So let's start with that first one, the impact of quality on duplication. All right, so we always have common mistakes. We've been watching it all year long. I think we've got a little bit better as we've done more and more training on this, but there's lots of new faces here this morning. So I wanna talk about it again. Do not underestimate the impact of quality on your channel. When we talk quality at Dewpoint, we talk only about the quality of people you're bringing into your channel. That's what when any, ever anybody says quality, they're talking about the quality of the individuals you are bringing to Dewpoint. It has a dramatic impact on your channel. It really does. And here are some common mistakes with regard to quality. So let's look at the first one. The first thing that we get, the most common, the most common thing we see is what we call recruit and dump. Now what this, what we see this specifically in the most enthusiastic wealth engineers. Largely people who have never done any direct selling before, they come in, they catch the vision, they are super excited about what's going on here at Dewpoint, and they start bringing people, but they bring them in the droves, five a day, five a day, five a day, and they put them in, they come to the presentation afterwards, they sign them up, and they push them out the door. Go forth and multiply. They just send them out, all right? Then they get the next five, and they bring the next five in, and they put them in, and they fill out all the forms, and then they push them out the door, and they get the next five, and they, and they do the same thing day after day after day, they then get, maybe in their first month, it's very exciting, they get a thousand rand. Okay, really exciting, gone from naught to a thousand rand. First, and then in the second month, they get a hundred rand. And then the tears, and then the brand in this business doesn't work, and then they're gone. Okay. Now, what's happened here? How come all of those people, five a day, how come all of them just disappeared? How come none of them duplicated? How come none of them got up, caught the vision, and started building? Just like this person who was so full of passion and who was driving their business like crazy. Well, because they did nothing with the people they put in. Remember, these poor people have been dragged out of nowhere, put through a 60-minute presentation at most. That's all they got. That's all they got. They don't know what's online. They haven't done any of the training. They haven't properly understood the system. They've only had a high-level cover of the business, and you've left them and hoped that they would just get it. No, folks. When you bring new people in, don't bring them in en masse. Don't bring five, six at a time. Bring them in as one or two at a time so that you can sit with them. You can explain to them the next three steps. What are the next three steps? Attend a presentation with a guest, log in every day, and attend the training. Those are your next three steps. You sit with each new person. We say, listen, let's get you logged in. I want you here tomorrow with a guest. And on Saturday morning, I want you here at the training. That's your first three steps. Now, at least they know what they're doing. Okay, and then after that, you call them the next day. All right, how are you going? Have you got a guest for tonight yet? Struggling, what are you struggling with? Let's look online, is there some training about that? Have you got some more questions? Your interaction begins with those individuals. You cannot bring people in and just drop them and hope that they'll figure it out for themselves. They won't. You might have figured it out for yourself. That's awesome, okay? Like I said, only a percentage of people are gonna succeed in life and you're gonna be one of them. But the rest of them are not necessarily going to get it right out the blocks. You've got to be looking after them. So this is a really common mistake, and people drop out of the system left, right, and center because no one nurtured them into the two-point system. No one just gave them five minutes to give them some direction, okay? So please, going forward, focus on the nurturing side of things. The other common mistake is they'll just get it. I kind of mentioned it already. They'll just get it. All right, I get this often. I talk to them and I say, where are all the people you brought this week? No, 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 they're doing their own thing. They'll get it. And I'm like, they are not going to get it. You are not going to get it unless you are here too. I've, uh, I've spoken to lots of guys who say, no, I want to do this online and blah, blah, blah. And I go, you can't. You've got to be part of our system. When we talk about plugging into the Dewpoint system, you get the benefit of five or six decades of experience in doing this from the team here. Everything we're doing is coming from experience you don't have. And I'm giving it to you for free. 
you got to be here. Whether it's coming to the Tell All Tuesday or coming down to the Throwdown Thursday or coming through to the training on a Saturday morning or even just normal introduction presentations, you've got to be here. Whether it's holding TeamWorks meetings with us. I see lots of faces. I haven't had TeamWorks meetings with your guys yet. When are you going to book a team in so that I can come and Rob can come and work with your team and strategizing and goal setting and this thing and that thing and the next thing? When's that going to happen? You want to plug yourself into the system because you are not just going to get it. They are not just going to get it. You will in time with experience and practice. Remember I always say, first year, you're going to suck at this. You're going to say, people are like, I've spoken to everybody. Everybody says no. Yeah, you are terrible at it. I heard your pitch. It was awful. <laughs> huh? I don't know. You want to come here for a year, for a year, and you want to practice for a year until you get it. Like your new job. When you started your new job, I remember I was an audit clock, um, and I had no idea. I remember my very first job was in the sentence CBD. They said, we want you to tick in this Hyperion report. I didn't know what Hyperion was. I didn't know what the report was. I didn't know nothing, okay? It took me until my third year of it being an audit clock to know how to properly tick in a Hyperion report. Three years. I'm not that dumb. And it took me three years to work out this report. These reports are like yay big, okay? Because I didn't just get it. Nobody's just going to get it. So I want you working with people. The most important thing with a new person is get them on that three-step. You would have seen in the, on the download section, there's the, um, the fast starter guide. It's right there. You can download it. Guys, if you are not using our website, I'm going to beg you. You cannot build this business without using our website. If you're not internet savvy, hey, this is the time to get internet savvy. Don't come and tell me, I get lots of, no, I'm BC, I'm before computers. <laughs> Unlucky, you are now AC because the computers have been around for 30 years. You are after computers, you are. There's no, you don't get a choice anymore. It doesn't matter who you are. If you are not good with computers, it's time to learn. It is time. You've got to get on our website. You've got to use our website. You've got to use it. On there is a downloadable program for all new starters. It's called our Fast Starter Program. It will, if properly done, will get a new starter to 60,000 Rand a year in six months. That's five grand a month in six months if you use that program. I see you all looking at me like, ooh, that sounds good. It's been there for about eight weeks now. Okay? It's not new. It's on the website, guys. Please go and use it because it stops this happening. When you can put the program down in front of this new individual, he knows what to do now. You haven't recruited and dumped him and you haven't expected him just to get it. And then you've got, of course, the ones that I don't want to bother them. This is like a white phenomenon. No, oh, he's too important. I've got this executive in and I don't want to bother him now. Well, then he ain't ever going to do it. You have to bother them. You've got to be in people's space with this business. You want to be in their space, talking to them, driving them, equipping them, educating them, and motivating them. Why? Because the first five people they're going to speak to are going to say no. And what do they do? They're going to quit. I literally, I had a guy here on Thursday morning in reception saying, no, I can't do this. But I can't. I've spoken to lots of people that will say no. I said, how long have you been doing this for? When did you first sign up? No, I signed up last week. <laughs> I was like, What? Of course everybody said, no, you don't even know what you're talking about yet. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's so difficult. It is not difficult. Plug yourself in. Plug yourself in. And folks, talk to the people you bring in. Talk to them on a regular basis. Get them in. Do not let them sit astray from where the action is. They could be one of the people that puts a thousand people in your channel. They just need a bit of nurturing in the beginning. So that's quite common mistakes there. Okay. Then... The next one is desperate and resourceless. Guys, this is the one that always gets me in trouble because it's not PC. It's not politically correct for me to say this. I've said it before. At your point, the people you want in your business are people who are entrepreneurial, who have a burning, burning desire for success. They are stuck where they are because of their circumstances, their background, their whatever, their education, their whatever has put them in a spot but you know that these people have the energy and the drive to build something great in life. Those are the people you want. Imagine if you had a thousand of those in your channel, how your channel would be just on fire, okay? Those are the people that you want. Now, those people generally, generally gen there are exceptions, but really very few, those people generally have a job, okay? They're not unemployed. 
they have a job. That means that they can pay the 249 rand a month. Now, this is very important because what happens when no one in your channel pays the 249 rand? You don't get anything. So why would you want to sign up all your unemployed friends? Why would you want to do that? What benefit is there for you in that? Is there any? No, there isn't. One day when you are financially free, in other words, the 300,000 rand a month, you are then welcome to help your unemployed friends because you are equipped to at that stage. Are you equipped to right now? Probably not. So let's get stage one right first. Make sure that the people you put in have jobs and can also afford the 249 rand a month. That's what you need. If they can't afford the 249 rand, again, okay, you've wasted your money. You've wasted your time and your money, actually. You've had to drive out here with them. You've had to spend time with them, cell phone calls, all that, for nothing. Guys, this is not for the resourceless. It is not for the desperate. This is for people who are on fire, determined. You know them. You know they are the success personalities. Those are the ones that you want in your business. Otherwise, as I said, that 70% that are going to do nothing might become 95% who do nothing because you're putting in all the wrong people. You want to put people in who want to change their lives. Those are the ones you want to put in. And we'll make a plan every month. What If you're earning 10,000 Rand a month, but you've got to pay 249 Rand on the first to get 10,000 Rand on the 20th, is that a priority, 249 Rand? Or on the first you go, no, I actually need groceries. So I'm going to spend my 249 Rand and fail to pay it because I need groceries now, and forfeit the 10,000 Rand on the 20th. Now, we've got people to do that. We've got people to do that. They might not be earning 10,000 Rand. They could be earning 500 Rand or 1,000 Rand. But they forfeit that because they go, no, the 249 is not a priority. When you're building your financial freedom, isn't the 249 a priority payment for you? Isn't it like the first payment you want to make? And then everything else comes after that because you know you're getting cash later on. It is, isn't it? Okay, now you all say that because you are the success people in the room, you see. The other 70% of the people are like, no, 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 I can't. This is serious. I mean, even if you're just building your investment asset with the access wealth, and that's all you're doing, that investment asset is so important to you. It is just so important to you as a future protection. It should be a priority payment for you. So guys, please, not the desperate and resourceless. Don't bring them. Don't bring them. Bring the guys you know are going to change their worlds. And when they change their world, the beautiful thing about the Dewpoint system is your world changes. That's why you want them. Their success is your success. That's what you want. All right, and then the Get Rich Quick characters. Love these ones. These are the ex, generally the ex-networkers, okay? They <laughs> hop about from one network to the next, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, I used to earn 10,000 Rand here, 20,000 Rand here, 30,000 Rand. How much are you currently earning? Nothing. <laughs> No, I've got a database of 68,000 people. Really? How much money are they making you? Nothing. No, I've got 24,000 people over there. I had 5,000 people over there. Man, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. These characters are bouncers and hoppers. They hop from one to the next. They are not going to help you. And then we get the other guy who's currently earning 60,000 rand at his other network. Do you think he's going to give all of that up to come and build a channel for you here? No, his focus is always going to be where he's getting his 60,000 Rand a month. Great for him. Leave him. Move on. Move on. Stay away. Then we get the guys. I'm not sure if it's this next one yet. No. Um, we then get the guys who go, uh, I've got this friend. He works for the recycling workers of South Africa's union. There are 60,000 members. I'm going to sign him up. And by the end of the month, we're going to have 60,000 people in my channel. I've just got to get him. I've just got to convince him to come in. Brendan, I want you to have a meeting with him so that you can help me convince him because by the end of the month, there'll be 60,000. I have been doing this now for nearly two decades. And I have got a gold-plated certificate waited, waiting for the first person to successfully get a transaction like that to work. There is only one way you build a successful channel. And it is one person at a time. When everybody in your channel is putting one person at a time in, your channel is growing at an exponential rate. That's how you get 60,000 people in a month, is when you've got 20,000 people who put three in each. That's how you build a 60,000 channel. You do not build a 60,000 channel with one person. 
It does not work like that. It never has and it never will. Stay away from that, even if you were tempted yourself. Oh, I know the whole Kululeni municipality. I just, Brendan, I just need you to come and stand in a hall with them. We'll sign them all up. Oh, my word. I have stood in front of a church that had 3,000 people in it because of that, and not one person signed up. Not one. It does not work. I'm personal experience. Never, ever going to work. So don't go for the get rich quick. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It never has been. It is genuine, genuine income earning. And genuine income earning takes time and effort. It's questions after with time and effort. That's what this is. It's never, ever, ever going to work when you try and do this quickly. Okay. Does bad quality duplicate in your channel? You betcha it does. It's the most successfully duplicating thing in all of channel building is bad quality. You bring the bad quality in, in comes the bad quality from all corners of the country. Okay, guys? So bad quality duplicates are crazy. You don't want that. You don't want that. All right, let's look at some good quality. Good quality, relatable and resourceful. Like I said to you, it's your peers, guys. It's your peers. Where are you at right now? Who would you have dinner with? Who would you be comfortable to have dinner with? Who excites you when you talk to them? Who gets you motivated when you talk to them? Those are the people you want coming into your channel. It's your peers and above, your bosses, your managers, people you know running successful businesses, even if they're small businesses. If the guy's running his own business and making enough money to live, that's the guy you want in here. Those are the people that you want. One-on-one, -on -one, it's the only way you build this business. I've said it, I'm going to say it again. One-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. You've got to build it one person at a time. And does good quality duplicate? Well, it does, not nearly as successfully as bad quality. Bad quality duplicates like wildfire. Good quality duplicates with effort. It duplicates with effort. You bring the good quality people in, and you eventually end up with a team that lifts you up, a team who succeeds for you. So yes, it will duplicate. That's what we want in this thing. So let's ask some questions. Folks, those of you who've never used these remotes before, really, really simple process. I'm going to bring up some questions. They're going to show up green like that. While it's green, you can answer any one of the buttons here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can change your answer if, uh, if the light is still green. As soon as the light turns red, you can't do it. Once you've selected your answer, it goes into the screen there. And a little green light will blip when you push your answer to say it's been successfully sent to the computer. When, uh, let's see, then it closes, it goes red. Now you can't answer the questions anymore. All right, folks, there's a little channel button at the bottom there. I don't want you to push that. It'll change the frequency and it'll stop it working. We've only got about 30 remotes or 25 remotes. Only a few of you have got them. The rest of you, I want you to try and answer the question anyway. Answer it in your head, making sure that you've been following me this morning. Folks, they don't work for anything other than these questions, so please don't take them with you today. They are expensive and completely useless outside of the walls of this office. So on your way out, please drop them off at reception for us. Okay. All righty, here's the first question. What is the most common mistake made by enthusiastic wealth engineers? Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Talking to too many people, signing up only the best individuals, recruiting and dumping, ensuring that new people have access to the internet, insisting on only adding people who have a regular income. What's the most common mistake out of those ones? Huh? All right, don't shout out the answer. Let's take a look at the answer. Okay, 88%. All right, it looks like 88% of you know what's going on. Yes, recruiting and dummy. You've got to work with the people you put in. Make sure they know those first few steps before they get going. What's a natural decider for you that someone is r the right candidate for your Dewpoint channel? So when you see him, how do you know this is a guy I want in my channel? No access to the internet, heavily reliant on public transport, unemployed, has a burning desire to be great, still insists that everything should be posted to them. Hmm? All right, don't shout out the answer. You're giving it away. All right, 100%. That's the ones. Yes. You want people to have a burning desire. It's determination that will build this business. I've told you before, you need to have a thick skin, a high tolerance for frustration. It's only one problem in every business. You will only have one problem in your channel. All of them will have two legs. All the problems, they'll have two legs. So you need to know you will be frustrated. And so you need burning desire and determination. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
All right, what is a natural decider for you that someone is the wrong candidate for your two point channel? He has access to the internet. She owns her own car, believes that his channel will explode if he can just finalize that one special transaction, has a burning desire to be great, is great with technology. All right, are oh, you shouting the answer out? All right. There's only, only 12 of you have answered with remotes. Where are the rest of you? I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. They all look right. All right, the answer is C, of course. He thinks that there's that one get-rich-quick transaction. You don't want that in your channel. It'll be a great disappointment to you. All right, let's look at the next thing. The power of face-to-face -face interaction. This is something that people fight me on. They don't want to sit face-to-face -face with people. Building channels cannot be done remotely. It is all built on relationship. This is the reality, guys. The time you are going to spend with your channel will determine how successful it is. When I say to you it takes time, it doesn't take time in finding people on the street to put them in your channel. It takes time as well in sitting with your teams, and that's where people don't want to do it. When I talk to people and I say, how often are you meeting with your team? They can't answer me because they're not meeting with their team. How often do you communicate with your team? They can't answer me because they're not communicating with their team. Guys, you have to put as much and if not more in time time into your channel. Imagine when you've got a channel that's 5,000 big. Are you going to spend more time trying to find a few more people to put in your channel? Or are you going to spend more time on the 5,000 people in your channel? Because 5,000 people can put a lot more people into your channel than you can, okay? If they're all fired up and working properly. Leadership is something that's going to become so important. And you can only lead when you put time into your channel, okay? And guys, that's what you've got to start doing. It is built on relationship. You are going to create lifetime relationships with people. People you would never have met outside of G-Point. And that's so exciting. I mean, that's the human condition. We are going to create fellowship here that you would not have had outside of G-Point. It's wonderful. And the team, together working with these people you like, will be creating wealth for both of you. What a fantastic, fantastic reality that that's what we can do with the Dewpoint system. What a fantastic reality. So folks, we suggest the three-tier approach. The first one, daily communication. WhatsApp groups, Facebook. Now remember I say we don't use social media to get people in. But when they're in, we use social media to communicate with them because that's what we're on, you know. We haven't now, we're not selling to them anymore. We've now got them in, and we want motivation in there. How are you going today? Everybody coming tonight to the Tell All Tuesday? Have you booked in your seats for the development seminar on Saturday? Who's struggling today? Who's been succeeding today? Hey, look, I got ranked up today. Got my rank up SMS. Here it is. How fantastic. All of that communication should happen on a daily basis. We do it here at your point, don't we? We send you an SMS at least once a day. That's me talking to my channel, okay? So when people go, stop sending me SMSs, sorry, buddy. I'm sending you an SMS at least once a day because this is me talking to you. If you don't like it, you're the wrong person for me anyway, okay, for our channel. Guys, are you talking to your teams on a daily basis? Or are you going, Brenda, this business doesn't work? Because it might not work if you don't talk to the people that you put in on a regular basis. Daily is what we think. We think you should be meeting with the people on your first point. Do you know who the people on your first point are again? Those are the people you introduced. The people you introduce, you should meet with them on a weekly basis. Are you meeting with them on a weekly basis? Why do you think we have boardrooms and breakout rooms here and free Wi-Fi? Do you think that was just so that we could like zhuzh the place up a bit and go, hey, look how fancy we are. <laughs> we built this for you. How many of you are having your meetings here on a weekly basis? Why do you think we run movie night Wednesday nights? I don't want to be here on Wednesday night because I want you here on Wednesday night having meetings with your teams. I know Patrick and Pumi do it. They take one of the rooms, they put a development seminar on, they play it, and then they pause it, and they talk to their team. Do we all understand what Brendan said? Have you got any questions on what Brendan said? That's a weekly meeting. Why do you think they're earning 22,000 Rand a month at the moment? Because they're doing the work. They're putting the time in. Are you meeting with your team on a weekly basis? You need to start if you're not. But you don't need to. You only need to do this if you want to duplicate. If you don't want to duplicate, you don't have to do the meeting. You don't have to. Because remember at those meetings, you're going to have the people who are crying. 
Ah, oh, this business doesn't work. I spoke to a hundred people. How many people did we speak? A hundred people, right? Let's list them. Oh, five people. You spoke to five people. They said no. Okay. You want to have those meetings so that you can lift them up. You go, so of course they said no. You're still learning. You've got to keep going. Look, so-and-so over here on the team, he put 10 people in this week. He didn't have the same problem you have because he's been practicing. Let's practice with you now. These are sessions for motivation, for fellowship, for camaraderie, for lifting up those that are falling, for, for celebrating those that are succeeding. You've got to be doing it. And it's for training. Guys, I have these TeamWorks meetings and I say to people, how do you earn a two point? Nobody can answer the question. Nobody can answer the question. People don't know. You know that you have to have three paid product owners on your first point that all pay within the month in order for you to earn. Okay, that's called being a qualified wealth engineer. Then in order to earn on every other point in your channel, you need the corresponding number of qualified wealth engineers on your first point for the number of points in your channel you want to earn. These are very simple concepts, but nobody knows it because, well, nobody comes to the development seminars and nobody's watching the training videos online. But when you meet with your teams, like I've been doing with our TeamWorks meetings, I've trained the guys. They ask me questions and then they go, ah, oh, now I get it. I got it. Now I can go out and grow and build and earn money. You've got to have your weekly meetings so that you can have training like that directly with your individuals, teaching them everything they need to know to be successful at your point. Weekly meetings. And then we reckon you should meet at least once a month with what we call your entire team, your first and second pointers, maybe even your third pointers. Once a month, your channel gathers and you have a meeting where you set goals. What's our goal for next month? As a channel, we want 100 more people in our channel by the end of the next month. Each one of you needs to bring two. Why? Because you want 10,000 Rand a month. You want 5,000 Rand a month. You want 20,000 Rand. If we're going to work towards that, step one is for all of us to bring 100 more people in this month. Monthly meeting. This is work, guys. It is work. I said it the other day. Welcome to the real world. You're on, this is not one of those lottery things where you suddenly win and you didn't have to do anything. It is also why only a percentage of you are going to succeed. Because the rest of you, not necessarily in this room, really outside this room, <laughs> the rest are unwilling to put the work in. Why should we work to have wealth. I told you like the top five guys who's always in the newspaper because we're jealous of how much money they've got. They didn't work for five years to get wealthy. They didn't work for 10 years. They didn't even work for 25 years to get wealthy. As families, they have worked for 75 to 100 years to get as wealthy as they are today. Are you willing to put 100 years into something to get wealthy? But we look at them and we go, you bastards, you've got all of our money. You've stolen it from our country, you know? Actually, well, they haven't. They spent a hundred years building an empire. Are you willing to put that in? Because if you are, you can have what they have. But if you're not, you fade into the background. Do you see what I'm saying? And so we need to start putting the time in because the time will get us there. All right, so people have said, well, what do we do in the meetings? So here's a quick agenda. You can see it on our training video. So if you don't get it today, here's your agenda. Start by setting goals. I've done it at the TeamWorks meeting. What do you want? Nobody knows what they want. And they don't. You've got to actually sit down and say, right, let's think about it. What do you want? 5,000 Rand a month? 10,000 Rand a month? Set the goals with your team. Step two during your meeting, plan and strategy. Okay, great. Now, how do we get there? How do we get there? We know what we want. Now, how do we get there? Make a plan and strategy. Diarize the key events. There are too few people coming to the key events. How many of you have come to every Tell All Tuesday and every Throwdown Thursday this year? One, 22,000 Rand a month, okay? One out of now, about 80 people in the room. One that's been to all of them. Why? Does she, is she the only one who wants the money? I know you want the money. Why are you not there? How many of you have come to every single development seminar this year? All right, there's three of you. All right, we're winning. Three out of 80, okay? Who wants the money? Diarize the key events in your entire team's diaries. Non-negotiable. No, but my kid's playing soccer that morning. Your kid playing soccer that morning is not going to buy you the yacht in the Mediterranean. It's not. My kids play, play, play sports on Saturday mornings. I have a son. He's very good at soccer. He's loving it. I haven't seen a single one of his Saturday morning games. Why? Because I am building my fortune. He will thank me later when I buy him an M4 for his 21st birthday. He will not care that I went to his soccer game when he was six years old, okay? Priorities, priorities. No, I need my sleep on a Saturday morning. If you knew me properly, 
you would know that none of you here need your sleep on a Saturday morning more than I do. <coughs> Saturday morning, that's my holy day. And I don't have it. I'm giving it up because I'm building my fortune. There's nothing more important than it. It should be in everybody's diaries. Training and systems and tools, okay, great. Next thing, teach your people. Third thing, motivate and encourage. Oh, nobody wants to say, yes, this business doesn't work. Okay, that's your cue to come in and say, hey, come on, let's put some time and effort in. Fellowship and camaraderie. And at the end, it's you enjoying each other's company, building your future fortunes together. That's your agenda in your meetings. And you just rinse and repeat that at every meeting and you'll get there. All right, let's ask some questions. Is face-to-face -face interaction limited only to new introductions? Is it limited only to new introductions? No. It is for every part. Somebody said yes. <laughs> it is for every part, guys. Face to face is every part, including the duplication of your team. Okay. Successful, self-sustaining and enduring channels are built on what one thing? What's the one thing that builds it? Your whole channel posting badly designed and misleading adverts on Facebook? Strong relationships, communicating solely by WhatsApp, making sure everyone knows who's in charge. I only, I only put down real world examples. I, I've had all of these, okay? We don't make this stuff up. It wouldn't be as funny. All right, the answer is strong relationships, okay? Relationships, and relationships, you know, are developed only through time. Time, time. You put more time in, the stronger relationships. All right, let's look at the effective example. Guys, this is you. It's now all about you at the end of the day. You are leading your teams. You are leading your teams. And at the end of the day, duplication will equal your work, your time, and your effort. You will get this success when you are great. If any one of these guys was slow and weak, that, that uh, crew would not have won. It comes to you. You are going to be setting the ultimate examples. You know there's that saying? It says, the top guy casts a long shadow. Our top guy at the moment all right, in our country, he's casting a long shadow, isn't he? A long shadow with like a shower head on the top. It's just cast across our country, okay, right now. The, what it means, what that statement means, is that the behavior of the guy at the top is reflected in the behavior of those below. That's all it does. And what do we see the guy at the top doing? We see it happening everywhere else. For everywhere, everywhere. Not just, I mean, I'm teasing... Oh, Jay-Z, Jay -Z. but you know, it, all of us are in there. When the top guy's badly behaved, everybody's badly behaved, all right? Where the top guy is amazing, the guys below are amazing. They really are amazing. Okay, so here's the effect of bad example. Here are things that if you do badly, everybody else in your channel is going to do it, all right? Attending an introduction presentation without a guest. You've heard me say it many times. Don't come if you don't have a guest. Bring a guest because then the people that are in your channel see you always bring a guest. And what do they do? They then go, geez, I better bring a guest every time I come. That duplicates in your channel. Not building your first point. Remember, it's personal activity. If you are not doing anything and you're like, no, I've done my work. I'm too important now to be adding people to my channel. You know, only you lowly workers of mine <laughs> must go and add people to my channel. That's never gonna, they're all going to stop adding people to their channel too. Okay? Not attending the key events. Now, I don't need to go to Throwdown Thursday. I've seen one. I've seen one, you must go. They won't go. You're going to be there every single time. Not attending development seminars. You're not there. Your team doesn't get trained because they're not there. Not watching online training videos. I know how to do this business. I don't need to watch the training videos. Well, then your team won't watch the online training videos. Uh, no goal, no plan, and no strategy. Well, that means everybody's got no goal, no plan, and no strategy. Not communicating with your channel. Well, then nobody's communicating. Not meeting with your channel. Well, then it'll never grow. Bringing guests who are poor quality. They bring poor, you'll bring poor. You'll see it, everybody just be bringing poor. Boy, does that duplicate. Hiding behind your computer. I don't want to do the face-to-face. -face. I'll WhatsApp you, send you an email, but I don't want to sit with you, meet with you. I don't want to form a relationship with you. That's the end of your channel. Not following the XP Rewards program. Never even seen it, don't know what it is. I mean, do you know how many steps, there's 20 things you can do in the XP Rewards program that get you XP and build your channel? Have you seen them? Have you memorized them? Do you know? They're on our website. The thing you haven't been to. That thing. They're all there. Do it. Not using the Dewpoint tools. We've got so many tools. Our apps and our training and our live streaming and our 
Everything is available for you. If you don't use them, no one will use them. Trying to do it your own way. That's one that I get every now and then. I looked at your business, it's great. I've worked out how I'm gonna do it. Okay, don't worry about all your stuff. I've worked out how to do it. Jeez, guys, we have worked out how to do this through much trial and error. You get the benefit of decades of experience the working way straight out the gates. Plug in and use it. You don't do it, falls apart. What are some examples, some good examples that will be duplicated? Well, individual and channel goals. Set them. When your channel knows what they're working for, boy, can you push in the right direction as a team. A channel calendar of events. Everybody in your channel pitches at each event. You know they're going to be there. I get, often I get people say, oh, my guy let me down, but I'm hoping someone else from my channel's here. Why are you hoping? Why don't you know? Why have you not spoken? Guys, I'm at the 12.15 today. Who's coming with me? How many guests? And the guy's like, yeah, I've got five people coming with three guests. We know what's happening today. You know, you, why don't you know? Individual and team meetings on a weekly basis and on a monthly basis. Meet with your teams. Uh, introduction and key presentations being attended. Dev seminars, throw down Thursdays, tell all Tuesdays. We're there, boy. We're there. Always bringing a guest. Never ar ar arrive alone. You're always there and there's always someone under your arm. And that example just duplicates, adds quality peers to his channel. When he comes or she comes, you can see it's quality individuals that they've brought with them. Builds their first point consistently. Always demonstrates that they are willing to do the work. When you demonstrate as the number one guy in your channel that you're always willing to do the work, your channel will always be willing to do the work. Okay? Always attends key events, keeps communicating and motivation levels up follows the XP Rewards program. I've got a lightning qualifier this month. I've done double time this month. I've got the trifecta. I've got the, uh, you know, the uh, investment XP. You know, all of the stuff that's available for you in the XP program, you're getting and you're showing it to your team and they're doing the same thing. Is an expert at the Dewpoint Toolkit. Got guys live streaming around the country, uses the app, able to read the dashboard in front of their guys, knows where the training and the tools are online as an expert. Then suddenly their channel does the same thing and then owns more than one Dewpoint product. In it to win it. In it to win it. How much money do you get per person on your first point per products? product? 55 Rand. So if each person has three products, how much do you get per person per month? One six, is 165 better than 55? Yes. yes. Do you know what it means? It means that instead of having to put 30 people in, you only have to put 10 people in, you get the same amount of money. Instead of having to put 300 people in, you only have to put 100 people in to get the same amount of money. Okay? What it also means is that when you've got three products all year long, we give you 50% more of all the XP you've earned for the 12 months before. So basically, we add six months of XP to your XP account if you've got all three products for a year. You didn't know that because you haven't read the 20 XP steps on the XP Rewards program. It's right there. Okay? Why would you not want to have more than one product? Have you ever tried to convince someone to take an extra product here at you point when you don't have one? I want you to take all three products. Take all three. It's good. They're good for you. It's a good package. Brendan said so. How many products have you got? No, I've got just one, but I want you to take all three. Does it work? No, so why don't you have all three? Have all three and then with everybody you sit down, right, we're not here, we're in it to win it. You take all three. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, are you in it to win it? Or are you in it to be another one of those, ah, it doesn't work. I used to be at two point, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. All right, let's ask some questions. If you do not have a guest with you, should you attend an introduction presentation? <laughs> <laughs> douche, 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 douche. Uh, no, no, don't cut. How many times can you watch me give the introduction presentation before you're vomiting? <laughs> no? How many times? Do you know how much more exciting an introduction presentation is when you've got a guest sitting next to you? Suddenly it's all very exciting. But when you're alone, it's nothing. You want to be there. And also your team keeps going, how come she doesn't ever come with something? She keeps telling me I have to bring one, but she never comes with one. No, when you come, you come with somebody. So plan it. If you want to be here every single night, make sure you've got five guests that week. Plan it and make sure you've got it. Okay. Don't come alone. All right. Always come with someone. Set the right example. Will your earnings grow if you never build your first point? No. Because how do you earn? You've got to get a qualified wealth engineer in. One for each point you want to earn on. So if you've got a thousand people in your channel and one qualified wealth engineer at the top, you earn only on the first point. Nothing on the rest of the thousand. You've got to have your qualified wealth engineers in to earn on those points. So yes, 100% no. Good, we're getting there. 
Make sure you keep building your first point. All right. How do you properly leverage the nearly five decades of experience DuPont's team makes available to you? How do you leverage it? How do you get the most out of all of our experience? Fill their diaries with meeting requests. Make sure you always ask them a question after every introduction presentation. Attend and watch the bi-weekly development seminars. Ignore everything Brendan has to say and do it in your own way. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's not A. It's C. Attend the development seminars. You want to get our experience, you get it from the training, guys. That's where you get it. You get it from the training. Good. I hope it's kind of sinking in at the moment. Right. A message spoken a thousand times. Guys, are your dreams on the ground? Down here. Is this where you want to live? Do you want to have 5,000 rand a month? Desperate for going from hand to mouth each each month. No. My dreams are up here. I don't have all the skills. I'm not tall and big and muscular and fancy and I can become Brad Pitt in Hollywood and all that. I don't have those skills. But my dreams are still up here. I have burning desire. I have determination. I have a passion to change the world I live in. And that's what you will see from me. You will always see that from me. I try and impart it to you. I do. I don't always succeed, but you will find that that's what I have. Because my dreams are not down here. I want great things. And I want you to aspire like that now. Do you know what's coming up in our XP Rewards program? That Mauritius trip, that's our entry-level holiday. That's the economy class holiday. It's the first one. You haven't seen any holidays before then, have you? No, there's no holidays before then. That's the entry level. That, that's up to rank nine. We've already got up to rank 20 planned. What do you think is else in there? Do you think with someone like me at the front, there's like uh, City Golf, Hyundai Atos, <laughs> Free State, Aventura Resort. Do you think that's what's in there? No, not when my dreams are up here. I want people aspiring again. We are not going to fix this country if we continue to dream socialist dreams. No, everyone must hand me their money. No, I want people going, no, damn it. I want the mansion. I want the 3,000 square meter mansion with the Rolls Royce and the Bentley outside. And I want it mine. I don't want someone else to have given it to me. That's what I want happening. And so I want people to dream here at Point. Dream about cruising the world. Cunard, six star cruise ships. That's what I wanted. I want shopping in New York on Christmas Eve. Huh? Is, is that not Paris on New Year's Eve? Is that not what you want? That's what I want. I want the big dreams, not the small dreams again. We need to. Is that worth putting the time and effort into? Is it? Is it worth putting five years into? Five years to have that. Five years of frustration. Five years of people saying this is a Ponzi scheme. Five years of people saying this is a pyramid scheme. Five years of people saying it doesn't work. I've seen these things. They don't work. Everyone fails. Five years of people saying oh, you only lose your money in these things. Five years of that. Is it worth it to then be able to say on your cell phone from Trump Tower in New York City, what are you doing today? What are what, what you doing? You, remember you said to me it's just a, it was one of those things that was going to fail? And that just, we were never going to make it money. I just wanted to see, how's the thing you were doing, doing okay? <laughs> Sorry, I've got bad signal up here. I'm in Trump Tower in New York City. The signals are very good. <laughs> how serious are you? How determined are you? Are you willing to meet with your people once a week? Because you want to have these things. You want to have freedom. You want to have capability. Because if you, if you don't, and some people don't. I have met people who say, Brendan, I don't want that. Great, okay, fine. Don't then. But I think there's enough of us in this country particularly. We've been beaten down a lot. doesn't matter what color you are. In this country, we've been beaten. I'm carrying the legacy of my forefathers. You're carrying the legacy of my forefathers. You know, we're all beaten down. I don't want that anymore. I want us up on our feet again now. I want us up and I want us working. And a little bit, a few hours, a week, a month, it's worth it. And that's what we want. I want us there. I want us to duplicate the best of who we are. You can duplicate the worst of who you are. You can. Bring the bad quality guys in. Don't meet with your teams. Don't do the training. Don't be good at the internet. Do those things. It'll duplicate like wildfire. But I want us to duplicate the best of who we are. All of you have got the best parts in you. Those are the parts you want to duplicate into your teams. Commitment, determination, time allocation, 
Those are the things I want you to duplicate into your teams. Make sure that that's what you do. And do it because your eye is on the prize. Do it because you're going, that's what I want. This is worth it. Have you got your goals? Have you got the picture of your goal? Is it there? Now you need it somewhere where you can see it every day. I want you to see it every time you switch your phone on, every time you clean your teeth, every time you turn the TV on, whatever it is, I want you to see what that goal is. That's my one. Goal number one at your point. Nissan GTR. I'm a petrol head. I want that. Once I've achieved that, that's goal number one for dew point done. I show you this not because I want to show off, because I want you to do the same thing. Where's your goal? Where is it? Can you see it? When I'm not looking at the screen, I know I want the GTR, but I don't feel it like I feel it when I look at it. When I look at that, I can feel that. And then it's worth getting up on a Saturday morning on my holy day, my sleep day. It's worth getting up because I see it and I feel it. Do you see it? Can you feel it? Where's yours? Where's yours? Is it up on your mirror at home? Is it on your phone? Without a plan? Without a goal? Nowhere. Nowhere. Are you duplicating the strategy, the, the best of yourselves into your team? If you were, they can see your goal too. Put it up say, that's what I want. Where's yours? Because that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm here on Thursday night. That's why I'm here on Saturday morning. That's why I'm here on Wednesday at lunchtime. Because that's what I'm going for. This is what I want. I can see it and I can feel it. Do you think I'm going to stop before I get that? I can promise you I won't. And that's just the first one. You want to see the second one? It's in the men's bathroom. On our side. It's there on the wall. I want to see it and feel it every day because it's what gets me up every morning. It's what gets me up. Is it yours? Folks, goals. Short-term goals. Who's getting an iPad for Christmas this year? Five of you? Six of you out of 80? That is hopelessly disappointing. Do none of you want the iPad? Do you think it's too hard to get someone qualified on your channel? What does it take to get somebody qualified? Three people. What does it take to get them to rank up? Four people. Four people to get them to rank up. If you've got a qualified wealth engineer, you've just got to take that person and get them to rank up. If you don't have a qualified wealth engineer, you've got to take one of your guys and get them to put four people in. Is it not worth it for a 21,000 rand iPad? So why only five of you tell me you're getting them for Christmas? Well, you see, when I ask people what your goals are, they don't have them. They're here for the money. I'm here, Brennan, I'm going to Mauritius. <laughs> and how are you going to get there? Ah, oh, no, I don't know. I haven't got a plan. I'm hoping you pull my name out of a box and take me with for fun. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What's happening here? What's happening with this one? December this year. 100,000 rand holiday in, on Easter for four days over Easter. You and your whole family. Business class, five star, all expenses paid. Huh? Do you remember what this holiday looks like? When last did you watch this video? Why? Why a long time ago? Why did you watch this video a long time ago? And that's right. Now listen. This video, this is the picture on your mirror, isn't it? Isn't this the picture on your mirror? You should watch it once a day. Can you, can you feel that? I can feel that. I love the sea. I love the mountains. You couldn't feel it before I played this video. Now we're going to eat. We're going to properly eat. 
Aber auch wieder, das heißt, uns auch friert. Thousand rand, four day holiday. I think it's going to be worth it. How many of you are going to be there? Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, me, I'm going to Mauritius. <laughs> December. December, you can stay at home and do nothing and not join us, or you can work. You can work hard. You can push hard. People are not at work, they've got more time. You've got more time with them. They're more available. They're thinking clearly. You can say, How tough is Christmas this year? Would you like it to be easier next year? Okay, you can have that conversation with them while they're in it, while they're feeling the pain of Christmas this year. You can say, we can change everything for Christmas next year. And you can make this December your most productive month ever. And you can be with us on this holiday in Easter. Everyone can make it. It's not a jackpot. It's not a, lo a lottery. It's not a lucky packet. Everyone makes it. Get out there and do it. Do it, do it, do it. Is this a goal? Yeah, oh, Mauritius. Yeah, okay. We've got 12 months left. We're going in December next year. You have time. But you need to use the time. You need a thousand people in your channel. You can't do that by yourself. You can't. But you can do it with a team. The right team. People burning with desire. Capable to pay every month. Wanting to change their life. Your peers. You can do that this year. Make it a goal. These things we put out so that you see them and feel them. Put them in your house. Put them on your phone. Every day, they're the reason you get out of bed. Every day, they're the reason that you're here. Folks, just a reminder, for December, the, the 14th is a public holiday in December. And then it goes straight into a weekend. So it's like 14, 15, 16. It's all weekend in the week. Our consolidation runs on the midnight of the 16th always. Okay, That's when we calculate your earnings for the month before which means that all your payments, anybody who misses a payment at the end of November must have their payments in by the 13th, okay? Normally you have to the 15th, but the 15th is in this public holiday period, so the banks don't work. So make sure that as you have unpaid at the end of November that you want to get paid so that you're earning on in December, you get them paid by the 13th. If they're not in by the 13th, then they won't count. All right, okay, so just do that. It's just because of that long weekend in there, all right? Okay, keep that in mind. Guys, get your goals out. Get them working. Is that a goal? You want the car? We don't, we don't talk about this one much. It's all Mauritius. After Mauritius, you can get a car. Come on. Come on. Put it up where you feel it and see it every day. And you remember why you're doing what you're doing every day. Conference, only a handful of tickets left. Guys, so many of you haven't bought these tickets. If so many of you are going to stand on the outside on that day. You want to be in there with your guests. It's going to be amazing. Everything we do is amazing. This is going to be amazing. Buy your ticket. Get it at reception today if you haven't already got it. Otherwise, book it online, please. Folks, merchandise, we've just paid. It was payday this week. Have you got the tools? Have your channel got the tools? Are you duplicating the right behavior into your channel? You've got a memory stick. Has your channel got memory sticks? If they don't, today's the day they buy memory sticks, okay? Why? Because the memory sticks got all the introduction presentations on it, the testimony slides, the everything. It means that wherever they are, they can plug it in and play it to people. You want this, don't you? You want this. Get your channel today to buy the merchandise. Get them. The pens, the books, the pins. And, of course, the pins. If they ranked up, if you earned, anybody who earned money this month, that means that you, uh, you, you can get a pin, okay? means you can get a pin. Go and get it. You either get the rank one, two, three pins, or you actually then get the rank four, five, six, seven, eight pins. Go and get your pin. Wear it with pride. Show people. Set the right example. You're changing your future. You're changing your lives. Make sure you do it. Have you got your business cards? You cannot do this business without these business cards. You've got to get them, guys. That business card makes this serious. It makes what you're doing not something you talk about. It's not these Skypey virtual thingies that are out there. No, this is real. This is real. 
Get your business cards before you leave this morning. Absolutely critical. Folks, I've taken more time than I should have, but I wanted to. It was our last Dev Seminar, and there was lots to get through. I hope you're as fired up about this as I am. What is it going to be like the day you buy your first BMW? The day you buy your first Mercedes? The day you move into Bryanston? Yeah? What is that going to be like? That's why you get up every day. That's why you meet every week. And you do it and do it and do it a thousand times until you're there. That's what I want. Guys, grab your guests. Get them back in here. Five minutes from now, we're going to start the intro presentation. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck for December. Good luck for December.